Okay, guys, so, um, look at this right here. It says that the Fermilabs Tev Tevatron Collider in Illinois is right next to Chicago. Caught a glimpse of this sort of, uh, they say here, undefined particle. And it, uh, will definitely revolutionize physics because it could lead to the discovery of a fifth force, an actual fifth force, um, by the Technicolor theory. Um, it would resolve some problem, problems in the standard model. And in case you're wondering, uh, right here I have a condenser microphone um, from a uh, cordless phone hooked up as a microphone. But anyway, and so um, the bos uh, the W bosons and jets basically fall off as the mass of the jet particle increases, it says here, um, because it's going through the detector and losing energy. But this graph here shows that, look, it's, it's losing energy right here, but there's this big spike, and I think here they got, uh, they say it's about one, uh, the, the mass was about 145 giga electron volts, 145 billion electron volts, and there's this big spike, and they're saying, what is that? Um, and you can see here that it's at, um, Detrovon, and, um, the fifth force, right? This fifth force would resolve some problems with the universe, because, um, it, it basically proves the, uh, says that you know how the dark matter problem, right? Gravity is not having enough um, effect on the universe as they should be going apart when they're actually going together. But um, this adds a fifth force that could add more force and actually leave them coming together without um, dark matter, which is extremely um, interesting and definitely something worth um, watching out for. And so um, we have here CNN, and they're actually shutting this collider down in September, that's ridiculous, you should not shut this thing down, like, it's just, it discovered the top cork, this, uh, the same, te te Teravon, Tev Tevatron, sorry, Tevatron Collider, um, and then this is the CDF, one of the big high energy detectors, these the magnetic field to look at particles going through separate layers of the detector, um, anyway, and, um, I, I yeah, they're shutting it down, I can't believe it, and they say they need another, I think, the um, Fermilab say they need another year, at least, to figure out if this is real or a fluke, because they say right here, whoever this says um, is predicting that um, an adjustment of jet energy by 3% is to make the signal totally insignificant. And so that, I mean, that's just crazy. And then right here they're saying, oh, it could just be a fluke, you know. Um, there's one in one dozen chances this is a physical fluke. And they're saying this isn't Higgs boson, which is too bad, but this is, uh, might, I'm not sure if they discover the Higgs boson, this would probably be more important. Um, and they're saying here that, uh, there's supersymmetry of that exists. Wow, I mean, that's just crazy. Um, there's all these things, um, that, that are sort of coming together that are, um, coming in the particle physics, uh, within the last 20 or 30 years, such as the discovery of the top quark. Um, let's, let's go on to the second page here. But this is just huge, and so I really hope to see um, where this goes, um, and um, what what could happen to it. Um, you know where where this goes, and then um, I, a fifth force, and they're saying it's sort of like gravity, sort of like a strong force, where it can pull um, pull like particles or universes really together. It only works on a very large scale, I think. Pull the universes together. Um, if, and that would sort of add to gravity, um, is what I've gotten out of this, and it seems, it's very, very interesting. And then, um, and, and, um, they're gonna start backing this up with, uh, C. Yarn's Large Hadron Collider, which I'm sure you know I love by now. Um, and, um, I mean, it's just crazy. And, um, so, yeah, but I, I really, please don't shut this thing down. Give them another year. They deserve it. They've done a, a really good job. And so I just wanted to talk, say you guys about that, and I'll include the links for everything I've said in this video. I don't want to be stealing any people's things. But anyway, they're saying that that 145 giga electron volt spike could be a technopion, which um, I think it breaks down from a fifth force carrier, I think, pr as predicted by the Technicolor theory. And it weighs abort about, I think they said 140 to 150 electron volts, is think of what I've seen um, somewhere. Um, and, uh, so it does fit that very well, so, um, I'd really love to see where this thing's going, and, um, I hope you like the video, so, bye.